Hello, everyone, and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. We are here today to do um, not really a look ahead. We, I didn't realize that I did not um, record my look ahead for December. So since we're at the end of December, we are going to see what I estimated or budgeted for the month of December, and then we'll see how it all turned out since we're already at the last week of the month. <clears throat> I don't plan to do any unexpected or unbudgeted spending. Um, if I have to go into some of my envelopes as far as like an emergency fund, which I am hoping that will not happen, um, we will. <laughs> I'll do that. Um, and then, I, of course, that new envelope that I have um, is my buffer. And first things first, so we are here at the table um trying to catch some of this nice beautiful sunlight and i hope you all can see it uh but so my setup is a little different today so i want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers speaking of subscribers we have made it to 600 subscribers i am so grateful thank you thank you thank you you guys for um subscribing to my channel i am on the road to 1000 subscribers i am hoping that whatever extra money that i can receive from youtube will help um me budget and plan for my new house it may not be much but any money will help towards my goal for my new home so that's my plan for the um, monetization part of YouTube is to have that go towards my new home, whether it's in my blue home category binder or for the down payment, you know, any money that'll help towards that closing costs, all that kind of good stuff. So y'all, thank you so much for helping me reach 600 subscribers so far. I was kind of at the beginning, I was like, I'm not going to do a giveaway until I reach like 800 or, um, of course, the big 1,000. But then again, I thought that for a small appreciation, I can at least do small giveaways. May not be much, you guys, but I thought about doing something small as a as a, a token of appreciation to you all so give you all the opportunity to be a part of this journey that I'm on and so speaking of that I ordered myself a new calculator I wanted one of those clackety clacky sounding <laughs> calculator so i think this is probably calculator number three for me since i've been on my budgeting uh journey uh so far one um calculator i had before starting budgeting but and i used that one that one's that gray one and then i was doing school shopping for the kids and i saw the pink one then i saw this one this one i've been eyeing um on on amazon and it the prices went down enough for me to save up and purchase this. This was a small Christmas gift to myself. Um, but I thought maybe I would give someone a calculator like this who would like it. The price is, is pretty good. It's reasonable. I'm not going to go outside of my budget, of course, <laughs> to purchase it. But I think I will do that. I will um, set it up where... You all can um, let me know if you're interested. I will do a giveaway. Um, the details about the, the giveaway will be in my next video. I want to kind of get down into this video and these issues here uh, as we go. But this will be my giveaway for 600 subscribers. So I wanted to at least let you all know that I am going to do a giveaway and the prize will be this very cute. Uh, it does not have to be white. Uh, it could be another color. But um, yeah, that that this um, calculator would be my first giveaway. So stay tuned if you would like to have that this calculator and I did get this wide one because it has percentages there um, all of the extra little things that I can use to help me calculate and do my budget so yeah I just wanted to put that out there and let you all know that next video I will state the um, requirements or 
criteria for um, entering the giveaway. So let's get into my December budget. I just use a standard notebook. Um, I don't do anything fancy too much. I'm going to sit this to the side. Um, I'm really into, you know, really, oops, not really spending a lot, really trying to stay true to not spending a lot when you are budgeting. I do have some type of shadow going on, so I apologize for that. Hopefully you all can see really well in this light. I just wanted to grab some of that natural sunlight. So on the left column is what I budgeted, and then on the right side is my actual. So we'll just work our way through everything. Um, extra income for this month. Now this, of course, is after the pre previous deduction. So that's my tithe, my current house obligations, and my house down payment amounts for the month of December. I budgeted 80 for extra income. Um, first paycheck was, I thought would hopefully be 1300 and then um, 1060 for my second, giving me a 2440 um, total of income. However, my average was 81 extra income, 1248 for paycheck, and then 798 for um, my second income in December, leaving me with 2127. This was a paycheck, of course, during the Thanksgiving um, break. Uh, so, um, oops. I did not receive much um, because I took time with family, which is fine. So the bills are listed over here. <clears throat> and my bills, I feel like my camera is crooked, guys. I apologize. And you may see my pink socks I have on. <laughs> um, I was able to pull out $10 for iCloud Actual. You could just look at the, the difference. Um, Prime, I thought I was going to do a little bit more, but my actual was 17. Medical insurance, 138. That was going to be for some um, stuffing extra, but I was I did pull out $48, um, and that was the adjustment for the new um, insurance enrollment. Um, Disney Plus, I pulled out $44 in actuality. Sprint was on point with $233. I did nothing for Capital One. Um, and this amount with this $100 would have been like any extra spending. But in my weekly spending, you notice that I went over spending um, in Capital One. So I didn't take out any planned. I used any monies that was in that category to pay off that big old amount. So I put zero here. Uh, and we'll talk about the weekly spending in my next video this week. I plan to do an update for that so you guys can see. Uh, my truck insurance wasn't as much. So I actually paid 160 um, P.O. Box, I didn't take out anything. It's not due until February, so we've got some time. Total amount actual was $512. My budget amount total was $775. We're going to deduct everything. Not really so much concerned about the um, budget numbers here. Really looking at what was actual. Uh, $2127 minus $512. And the bills category, leaving me with $1615. And we're going to flip the page. And then we're going to zoom back in. Remaining is 16, 15. My variable area didn't do a whole lot. 400 and gas say the same. Food was 600. Household really got 25. Um, nothing for holiday food. We're going to be doing something new um, in the new year anyway. Um, food money and account nothing uh 
Caleb, I only took out 25 for his hair, haircut. The girls um, and Caleb got 25 this month each. Um, drive through nothing. So our total and actual was 1125. Uh, budget it was 1250. So I think that's about 125 dollars difference, I believe, if I'm looking at it right. You guys know I don't have my calculator, so that's it. That was just all in my head. <laughs> so remaining was sixteen fifty. Well, the remaining from up top was sixteen fifty. Brought that down here. The total for my variable spending was eleven twenty five. Um, when I subtract those, it left me with four ninety to spend for December. So we brought that over. What's left in our sinking? Uh, you can see nothing much came out of that. Here, I'm gonna make a star because I canceled my appointment. As you can tell, I'm not feeling 100%. <coughs> Still, it's like it's coming and going, I don't know. For the past few um, videos, it, it's been that way, so I don't know. Um, and this was a special specialist appointment, so I canceled it and um, I can get back into it in a new year. So I started that because the money that I have in an envelope will be um, put in. I'm doing something new in the new year, so I'm getting a jump on that. Um, I don't want to give it away because I haven't gone over my 2023 budget yet, but I will be doing that. Um, so some of it went there, something that I'm doing new for my budget next year. And then the other, I think I put it in my house binder category. So I just started. You guys will see it in my upcoming videos. Nothing was taking out in these envelopes, for these envelopes at all. Um, $75. So $75 um, had already been taken out for that. So I just calculated that in from the $490, leaving me with $415 remaining. So we're going to see what I did with the four. 15 remaining. Nothing for student loans. 53 went into emergency fund. All Things House got 100. Totaling that was 153. When I subtract the 153 from the 415, it left me with 262. And here is what I did with the 262. Okay. So 262 remaining. My buffer envelope got $41. An extra $107 went into gas. We did some driving um, during the holiday um, time with family. We did. I did some driving, so I needed to put $107 into gas. I have a SUV truck, so it's pretty big. Uh, I have replaced $50 in my emergency fund. And then for dental, I took out $64 for my dental insurance. I had a rem I didn't realize I had a remaining balance in my dental um, going into the new year. I kept the same insurance company, but I didn't realize I had a $64 remaining. I think I was behind a month because dental, um, you don't go like every month. So I think I was behind. That's what happened. I was behind in payment. Um, so with the, with the behind in payment and then the adjustment, oh, you know what? I take that back. I lied. It wasn't that I was behind. I added Caleb dental insurance to my current insurance for 2023. So that's what that was. Um, cause I was like, oh, I pay it every month. But, um, I added Caleb into, um, in my dental insurance plan for 2023 so that totaled up to be um when you add those categories up that i um put money in it ended up to be zero so that's what happened in the month of december in the actual column it looks like i was over 45 dollars in my budget but then in my actual things did work out where Everything totaled up to be zero balance. Not much going on as far as like a lot of stuffing my um, envelope sinking funds 
extra savings, didn't really have a whole lot to play with um, with my income for the month of December, and that's fine. We really did have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I'm going to zoom out so I can close this. We had a wonderful Christmas. Um, the girls came home. Everybody, um, we went to say happy birthday to Jesus at church, and it was just great. Came back home, and I ended up taking a nap, but not yesterday morning, not Sunday morning. It was later on. My sister and I finished up some Christmas dinner cooking, and just the kids just had a really good time. So I hope you all um, had a wonderful hol holiday season, and I am looking forward to the new year. Um, don't forget to look out for my next videos this week. I will be leaving some details and talking about my 600 subscriber giveaway. You guys, I am so looking forward to what the new year is going to bring. Even though my voice is not sounding as excited, I'm probably not 100% feeling 100% today. But I wanted to come on anyway to do this quick video. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Please share my videos. Please let other people know that I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers so that I could um, have a little bit of an income going towards my budgeting journey. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'm going to be replying back to some people that commented on my last videos last week. So I'm going to be doing that today. And share my videos if you like. I know a lot of people are doing some research and looking to see what people are doing in the new year. My video is coming. So you guys take a um, opportunity to look at my upcoming videos when I post them. Hit that bell notification so you would be notified. Um, thank you so much for everyone who um, have purchased YouTube video. I'm not YouTube videos. Goodness. <laughs> have purchased uh, my sister's products off of her Etsy shop. She wants to come on and say something special. So hopefully in the upcoming videos, she'll be on just to say thanks, you guys. But that's all I have for you today. Please take care and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.